A shootout right in the middle of a Westland neighborhood leaves one man dead and a homeowner wounded. And that shootout came just two blocks away from a high school. Investigators now saying tonight it all started with a home invasion. The shots were fired at a house on Glenwood Road near 2nd Street. As Sean Lay reports, the homeowner told police he opened fire when a man tried to force his way into his home. This violence exploding out here in Westland at 930 this morning. Everything taking place at the back door of this home on this side of the fence. Teresa Yant, everything happening just feet from where she lives. And I put it on Facebook and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is in my backyard. <laughs> you can see the broken down door and evidence of a shootout from Teresa Yant's backyard. I never heard anything. But at 9.30 this morning, three men broke into this home on Glenwood at 2nd, and it was all about revenge. Local 4 has learned that a 24-year-old man is dead, shot to death by a 23-year-old living in the home. The man in the home was living with the victim's ex-girlfriend and child. He kicked both of them out. The ex-boyfriend brought two other men with him and broke in this morning for a violent confrontation. The 24-year-old shot and killed. A 24-year-old man from Belleville who came along with him and a 22-year-old from Inkster were arrested. Jason and Brandy McCarran rushed to the home. They had just moved from this house where the shooting took place. Our old house is on the news. I'm shooken up and scared like, well, we just left that house. Like, I really hope it wasn't some kind of, you know, like, I mean, they said on the news that it, it wasn't some random act of, you know, violence or anything. Back here live, open and shut case of home invasion and self-defense. Investigators telling me tonight, not so fast here. They're holding the gentleman who shot, fired that deadly shot on unrelated charges, and they are questioning him about this home invasion and shooting. Karen, back to you. So as they question him, do we know how badly he was injured in all of this? Yeah, indeed, uh, this was a shootout. So he did take a bullet to the leg, treated and released right away, but released right into police custody. All right, Sean Lay reporting live. Thank you, Sean.